Ari Fleischer came out right after September 11th and said, there were no warnings. I watched him tell me there were no warnings, okay? I wanna know why nobody has gone back and said, what did he mean? Howard Dean recently seemed to muse aloud whether you had advanced knowledge of 9-11. Yeah, uh, look, there's time for politics. And, uh, you know, it's time for politics. And uh, I, uh, it's an absurd insinuation. The press has reported this one, that one, but they haven't really put it all together and said, God, how many different warnings did you get? How many different ways was this information coming at you? And why wasn't anything done about all these warnings? Why is the Attorney General of the United States doing all his air travel by specially chartered jet? The Justice Department cited what it called a threat assessment by the FBI and said Ashcroft has been advised to travel only by private jet for the remainder of his term. And on the night before the attacks, the president may have slept more soundly, knowing surface-to-air missiles were placed on the roof of the Sarasota, Florida resort where he was staying. Not a typical security procedure at the time. That same night, quote, a particularly urgent warning may have been received, causing some top Pentagon brass to cancel their scheduled flights the morning of 9-11. Why that same information was not available to the 266 people who died aboard the four hijacked aircraft may become a hot topic on the Hill. It never did. We took an oath not to talk about during the campaign, I think correctly so, to increase the capacity of that commission's report to be heard by the People's Congress. Now it's beyond the campaign, so the promise I had to keep this out of the campaign is over. So Mr. President, you knew they were in the United States. You were warned by the CIA. You knew in July they were inside the United States. You were told again by briefing officers in August that it was a, that it was a dire threat. Didn't do anything to harden our border security. Didn't do anything to harden airport security. Didn't do anything to engage local law enforcement. Didn't do anything to round up INS and consular offices and say we have to shut this down. And didn't warn the American people. What did you do? Nothing, so far as we can see. The government first said there were no warnings. There were. Then the White House insisted the warnings were not specific as to where, when, or how. The 9-11 families and the timeline connected the dots where the media didn't. There were many warnings. Most were detailed, some were urgent, and yet little or no defensive action was taken by responsible officials, except for their own personal protection. Even as the first tower burned on every channel that morning, no one on the federal level who had received warnings all summer called New York to order an evacuation of Tower 2. No one ordered fighters to perform any timely defensive action against the remaining hijacked planes. No one responded adequately to the crisis. It has been said that the intelligence agencies have to be right 100% of the time, and the terrorists only have to get lucky once. This explanation for the devastating attacks of September 11, simple on its face, is wrong in its value. Because the 9-11 terrorists were not just lucky once. They were lucky over and over again. When you have this repeated pattern, of broken protocols, broken laws, broken communication, one cannot still call it luck.